the 17th summit of the non-aligned movement kicked off in Venezuela with the unveiling of a statue of former president Hugo Chavez, reminding the world of Venezuela in happier days. Now the country's suffering chronic crime, scarcity and inflation. The summit presents a chance for President Nicolas Maduro to swap domestic strife for the international arena. He began by presenting ambitious proposals for the 120 member movement's own bank and food security program. We propose a fund for the development of the countries in the non-aligned movement and a high-level commission that leaders respond to. His counterparts, mostly from developing countries, preferred to stick to the traditional calls of support for Palestine and denouncing of shadowy imperialist forces. Despite a welcome bit of promotion here for Venezuela, in general, even internationally, the country is in trouble. The South American trading bloc Mercosur is threatening to kick them out, and the Organization of American States has severely criticized them for human rights issues. The non-aligned movement offers a chance for inclusion, but it's also seen better days. It was put together by leaders seeking to avoid tying themselves to the Soviet Union or the United States during the Cold War. Now that's over, it struggled to find relevance. The number of presidents at this meeting is down from 24 at the last gathering in Tehran to just eight. Some of them are South American allies of Venezuela. 92-year-old Robert Mugabe also flew in, joining one of the organization's more persistent calls for more say in the UN. It is non-aligned movement's foremost task to reform the United Nations General Assembly, to bring it more in line with contemporary geopolitical realities. The Security Council has to be more representative. The UN annual general debate is where many of these leaders are heading next. Despite their complaints, they know that's where world power lies. Meanwhile, this movement, like President Hugo Chavez, seems increasingly to belong to another time.